Green, go ahead. Hi, Borna. Um, just obviously, don't want to go over too, too much old ground in terms of Sunday's performance, but you haven't produced many disappointing performances this season. Um, in the main, it's always been very good, but was there some deep discussions in the dressing room after after Sunday? Yes, of course. We know that we didn't play uh, very good football. Uh, at some point, maybe we should be happy because it was draw at the end. But that's past now. We had we had the brief about everything. We talk about that, and we cannot say that this was, as I said, our football and how we played all the season. But days like that sometimes just happened, and we learned a lot of from the, that game, and that's it. David Edgar, please. Morning, Bona. Morning. Tomorrow, um, you'll be welcoming Kilmarnock, and then uh, following that, the Antwerp tie comes up. Does going back into European competition give the squad a bit of a lift at this time of the season? Sorry, I didn't understand you. That at the end, what did you ask? So, um, does does playing in Europe again give the squad a boost at this time of the season? Uh, depends, of course, on which how you look at that. But yeah, it's come uh, Europa League games, which are very excited, like always. But also, we need to travel now to Antwerp, come back, but uh, a little bit of trip. But we use to play every three, four days. So for us, that's not a problem. We played the whole first half of the season, if I can say, until New Year. We played every three, four days, so it's not a problem for us. Andy Newport, please. Hi, Borna. Um, we, sp- uh, we spoke to Stephen a few weeks ago and he, he was talking about uh, Nico and the fact that uh, his injury means that he might not be back this season. I'm just wondering, you as being a, a fellow um, compatriot, how much you've had to help him keep his, his spirits up um, during this difficult period where, he, where he's out injured? Yes, of course. Uh... That's also my responsibility for him because I'm the closest here with him and uh, I spend every day with him, of course, not only at training ground, also uh, outside of training ground. And uh, sometimes it's not easy for him, you know, because of injury and uh, we played uh, very well. He wants to be part of that, uh, the pitch, not only here, but I'm trying to help him how, how much I can, and mentally I think that uh, he's now in good position. He's training uh, very hard, sacrifice a lot, and I know that he has very big will and wish to, to come back as soon as possible. Raman, go ahead. Is he quite a strong character, Borna, in terms of coming back to where he once was? Very strong, to be honest. Very strong. Uh, I I know everything what he do, not only tra- the training round, also outside of the training round. And believe me, he's doing uh, everything what's possible to come back stronger and to come back faster as much as he can because he missed a lot of football. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah uh, uh, he's very like a hard worker. And he's doing everything to, to come back, support us every game. He sometimes on our meetings even come to our games, you know, if he can. So he's all the time with us. So, yeah. Ali, go ahead, Ali, the fight. Morning, Borna. Morning. Um, you've been at Rangers a couple of seasons now. What do you think it is about the Scottish game that suits you so well? And what do you enjoy about it? For me, personally. Scottish game, yeah, you can learn a lot of from uh, Scottish games and from the Scottish league, you know. It's different type of the league. When someone asks me about that league, it's hard to answer. Can you success here or not? Because it's very typical. It, it's very unique league, you know, because it's very physically. And especially it's unique when you play in Rangers, such a big club and big expectation always. But you can learn a lot of things from here. I think I learned really a lot of things 
uh, not only in football, it's also outside of the football uh, relationship with the fans, relationship in the club, between players, between uh, uh, staff and uh, between board. So, yeah, in, uh, in Scottish League, you can learn a lot. And I also learn in uh, Rangers because it's that big club that it's impossible to don't learn some uh, good things, not only in football, it's only in life. So that's for all life, some things. Luke Shanley, please. Oh, no, the manager was just talking there about his frustration with the disciplinary system, saying that he wants consistency and clarity. Um, from a player's point of view, how frustrated are you with the system when you see what's happened to your teammates over the last couple of weeks? Uh, I cannot talk too much about that because we had almost perfect season and almost perfect uh, every game until this Hamilton. But as I said, at the end, we didn't lost, and uh, I think that that game just happened. I don't want, and we don't talk about that anymore. It was one bad day. I know that fans don't like that. No one's like we don't like. We have been disappointed, but things like that just happened, and everything is fine. We are progressing, train very well this week, and we are ready for another games. Jordan Campbell, finally. Hi, uh, in the first half of the season, the, the team were winning pretty comfortably most games. Um, the scores seem to have, have tightened uh, since the turn of the year. Do you, do you feel, as a fullback, that you know you and the teams are playing differently against you, you and James, for example, uh, at fullback? Yes, of course. You cannot expect uh, after now it's third round that all the teams play the same, like they play first or second round with us. Because now, of course, they know how we play. We know how they play, and we know each other much better. Uh, that's the first challenge. Second challenge also is we didn't lose uh, one game this year, one league game. Okay, and of course, that that's challenge for everyone to beat us. Even sometimes, if they lose one nil or two nil, they will give everything to score these two goals, three. How much they need to to win against us, and of course it's not easy to to keep uh, the level of playing all the time, you know. And, but that's normal, normal thing. Everything's going good, as I said. We are in very good position, so we just need to be calm and play game by game, and just thinking about next game. We are doing really well at training, so everything is everything is good. Thanks very much, guys. See you tomorrow.